Hello, this is Emily of Genevish Graphics. If you're watching this video, it's because I've created a WordPress website for you. And this is a video tutorial on um, how to access the back end of WordPress and how to make updates to your WordPress website. So the first thing we're gonna do um, is add into the search bar here our link to log into WordPress. I should have provided you with a link as well as a username and password. So simply click the link or add it to your address bar and add your username and your password and simply log in. The first thing you're going to see is the dashboard of WordPress. This is just a snapshot, an overview of the website and what it contains. Um, it's got a little bit of information here. You can get your site stats in here if you have Google Analytics plugged in. Along the left side, you're going to see the main menu of WordPress. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about, the most important thing would be pages, the pages of your website that contains all of your site content. Um, if you want to edit any of these pages, you just find the page that you want to edit and then simply click on it or click edit. You'll see the text editor for WordPress is the first thing in here. We have the title of the page. We have page attributes. If it was a sub page, it would show if that it's a sub page. Um, it's this page that we're editing right now is published in public. Um, none of these items down here are really going to deal with unless you're adding SEO descriptions for your separate pages. Um, in this case, we have a couple text links on here. Uh, basically, all of these buttons have a function. Most of them you won't use, but you know, a lot of them are important. If you're editing text and you want to bold it or italicize it, if you want to align it, if you want to add a text link, change the color of something. Um, you know, these are all different things you can use. This is block quote. This is a regular quote. Um, basically, if you want to add any text or, or uh, edit any text, you would do it like you would in Microsoft Word. Um, if you want to make this a link, you would click on that and give it a link. And now you've linked your text. If you want to add a photo, I'll show you how to do that. Upload, insert, add media is a very important function. We can do it from computer or media library. A media library control, contains all of the media on your website. So you want to add a photo that we have on our hard drive or an image from our hard drive. Simply find the image you want and add it. It's going to upload it. You can add a title. You can add your alternate text and link if you want to link to it. By default, WordPress links just to the image itself, which is ugly, so I usually get rid of that. Insert into post, and there's our image. We can align it differently if we want to. And again, if we wanted to link it, we could do that there. Open it in a new window, add link. Once you've made any of your site changes, you simply click update and it will update the page. If we go to the website now, my blog, you'll see my page is in here. And we've added it. We've added our links. So that takes care of pages. Um, another important part of your website would be your home page. And a lot of my clients have a home page with certain widgets. And widgets are interactive areas of the website or they contain content. Um, if you go to widgets, you'll see you have different areas. These are the widgetized areas and these are the widgets. Widgets are, <clears throat> are just interactive tools that you can add to your blog or to your website. Um, you'll see we have latest tweets, user profile, you know, social sharing, those sorts of things. If you have a website that has a home page with widget areas, you'll see it along the side. It'll say home title or home content and you can edit your home site, your home page content there. On my blog, I just have three areas that I'm actually using that are widgetized, and that's the footer. If you go to my blog page, you'll see footer one, footer two, and footer three. I have latest tweets, email updates, social sharing, search the site. So say I wanted to get rid of search the site, I just click and drag, and now it's gone. Say I want to add something to that widgetized area, 
If you want to just show a list of your categories, you could do that this way. Change your latest tweets to just show the last three. Save. There's your categories. <clears throat> Save. Now let's go back. All right, our latest tweets, it's the last three, and now we have my categories on my blog. So that's just something, that's how you use a widgetized area um, on the website. Takes care of that. Now, if we go back to our left uh, main menu, um, we can see media here. That's, again, your library if you want to upload photos or images into there. Links is not really important unless you have a page just of links. Um, there's your pages. Your comments are if you're getting comments on your blog, you can approve them here. Uh, Genesis has some important pages, some important settings to deal with, um, SEO being one of them. If you are planning on doing your SEO yourself, this is definitely an important place to start. Genesis has SEO settings built into it. You can simply edit your home title, your meta description, your keywords. That's all under Genesis SEO. And again, you simply save your settings when you're done with your changes. Um, uh, the next important item would be under appearance, the appearance of your website, your menu. Uh, we talked about widgets already. Now your menu is important. Um, right here you'll see my menu of my website, and this is a page I recently created. If I want to remove it, remove, save menu. And now that page is gone. It was a sub page. Uh, if you want to add a page that you've just created, find it here under pages, add to menu, and simply click and drag it where you want it. I want it to be a sub page, so I'm indenting it. All of these ones here are main level. If you wanted to make something third level, you'd simply indent it yet again. Save menu. And now you'll see I have a main, main level, second level, third level. My site isn't set up for that necessarily because I don't use those. So again, we can just remove them because we don't need them. And save again. The next item that uh, could be of use um, if you're so inclined would be plugins. These are just tools that we have in use on the website. Mostly they're development um, related. Um, if, you, if there's something that you need to do with your website that it doesn't do already, you can always find a plugin for it. And again, you can always call me to assist you in this if there's certain things that you want to add to your site. Usually I have a lot of these already in place for my clients, such as analytics. Um, you know, they're free plugins um, and they're just, you know, things that you like to have added to the website for functionality. Um, you know, having a favicon or you know, using Facebook Connect or the social sharing, you know, those are types of things that we add into the website to have certain tools available. Um, other items that might be useful would be to go under users. And here you'll see there's only one user on my site, and that's me. I'm the admin. It has my email, my role as the administrator. Um, if I wanted to change anything, such as my name, my nickname, if I want to change that, I would be under here. Um, your username you can never change. However, if you see, I am shown as Emily Genevish because I have it set to publicly show my name as Emily Genevish. If I want to change that to Emily, I can make that change by simply clicking up, Update Profile. So that's simply simply done. Um, now you'll see I'm, I'm Emily on the website. And really, that's just, you know, if you're blogging. Um, as far as pages are concerned, you're not going to have that information showing anywhere. Um, the next item that could be important would be your settings. And uh, again, this is a lot of this is developmental, um, you know, showing you the plugin settings that we have Google Analytics, we have social sharing, you know, all those types of things are, can be edited there if you so wish. So that's the end of my tutorial. I hope that I have helped you. Um, figure out the basics on how to update your WordPress website. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, uh, if there's something that I haven't covered in this quick tutorial, just give me a call or shoot me an email and let me know what I can help you with. Um, I hope this has helped you and good luck with your website. Thank you.